Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tov, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you the ways. First things first, I hope all of you are good. How's your day? Let me know in the comment section. How are you doing? And secondly, today I'm gonna to be pushing ladder with one of my favorite graveyard decks, also known as Splashyard. Right now, this is currently the best Splashyard deck in this meta. And if you don't have all these cards, that's okay. There's a lot of substitutions for this deck, but even if you have it a little bit under leveled that's still fine it's really valid for ladder it's really easy to push ladder and for the substitutions for this deck you can have valko knight for the skeleton king archer queen for the ice wizard for the tombstone we can have cage or bomb tower poison we can put in fireball and for the bar battle we can put in log with that being said let's push some ladder let's hope we get decent matchups not like complete hard counters and we into our first game. This game we're playing against Trojan Man. Okay. Okay, bro. Okay. So I'm just going to play a bar battle to kill off this Ice Spirit. And we also get a good counter push. Let's see what it does. So we're playing against Hog. To be honest, it's not my like matchups. And I played my Nado late. Ah, that was very late. That was really bad. What an amazing start to the video. I hope you guys agree with that. But nevertheless... Against Hog Rider, especially against uh, 2.6. And here we're playing against Earthquake, which is a little bit harder. But you want to play very patient and you want to wait for the right opportunity to attack. So um, we need to see whether he's playing with Firecracker or whether he's playing with a Valk. But right now we see that he's playing Firecracker. Get a Baby Dragon to... What? This man is playing Hog Lightning. Why? Why is he playing on lightning? Whoa, and that didn't pull. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I think I played that one tile too high. But it's fine. So now that we know he has lightning, we know that we can't stack and it's more of playing at the bridge with the graveyards. And we can't really give him too much lightning value. So we're going to play an ice wiz on the right lane. It's really easy for him to cycle back to another lightning. So... Yeah, and right here we see that he played a Valk into the opposite lane. So we're just going to play Skeleton King Graveyard. And he plays a tombstone, uh, I mean a log onto my tombstone, giving me more skeletons. So I'm just going to activate the ability. And just like this, we should take the tower because he doesn't have Earthquake. Neither does he have log. And yeah, just look at that, guys. Really easy to play. So now we're just waiting to see which side he plays his Hog Rider. So we're going to get a nice... Uh, nado i'm just waiting for the valkyrie to die and now we got a good nado both our towers is basically the same hp and now he has to decide which lane does he want to attack and now for me for the next 50 seconds all i'm doing is defending all i'm doing is trying to want my nado back in hand so my defenses become clean and i just have to watch for the firecracker chop so it's okay playing this high Literally, it's totally okay. Let's see where he plays his firecracker. I'm just going to poison the firecra firecracker because I genuinely don't want to deal with it. So right now, I'm just going to play Ice Wizard. We know that he doesn't have lightning in hand. We're just going to play Tombstone. If he goes hog opposite lane, that's fine. But with this position here, we can also attract the hog from the opposite lane. And just like that, that's another good defense. And in for 15 seconds with hog lightning, I genuinely don't think he's going to get the tower. But right now, we're just going to poison... Just to slow down the troops if he plays it at the bridge. And we're just going to play a nade over here. And a tombstone at the back to pull the hog back. And yeah. GG is a Trojan man. Just like that. Proving that Splashhead is one of the best decks in this meta. And I 10 out of 10 recommend you playing this deck and getting better with this deck. It's a very defensive deck. And it teaches you a lot of patience in Clash Royale. It's not only spam at the bridge. It teaches... It teaches you when to attack at the right moment and also it improves your macro defenses. With Nado and with Ice Wizard and Baby Dragon combined, you get insane splash damage and it just improves your gameplay overall. So right here we have Bar Barrel in hand. So I'm going to cycle Bar Barrel at the bridge and let's see what it does. Playing against AIRL Ghost. Okay, buddy. So he reacts with a bar barrel of his own. That was a very bad bar barrel in my opinion. He could have played a higher bar barrel. Where it ends up hitting my bob. And it also gets one shot onto the towers. But oh well I guess he doesn't know it. Or he played it too late. Because things like that happen. And right here I think we're playing a mirror matchup. So right here we're going to get an ice wizard. 
and if you play something else we're gonna get a good nato so right here i'm just gonna play uh my barbarian my barbarian barrel to kill off the skeletons and we got since we got such a good push since we played such great bridge battles we can go in with the graveyard but obviously in night Witch, we know that he's playing golem golem is a nice matchup all you're doing is try to stack two tombstones and you're always going to end up poisoning the night Witch. but right now he doesn't have enough elixir to play a golem so playing a baby dragon is fine if we played a golem i would have played tombstone and i would have played poison but right now baby dragon is fine and he played a baby dragon of his own so guys if he, if they play a baby dragon in the center all you want to do is wait for the baby dragon to hit the tower and play a tornado like this that will get a king tower activation of the baby dragon and it helps so much especially against flash and matchups and against golem in general so Right now, I think I would have to poison on defense. I'm really hoping that he plays a Night Witch because our hand is really bad. And which he does play a Night Witch, so it's good for us. But right now, I'm not worried about his troops. I'm more worried about uh, getting the Night Witch. I don't want to give Fireball value, so I'm not going to play my Baby Dragon to the right for the Golem. And right now, we can get a King Tower activation. I think, oh, it didn't pull. Nice beautiful but anyway we're gonna play a late ice wizard to kill off all the skeletons and that's a really clean push right now i don't know whether if he went with golem i would have went baby dragon graveyard at the bridge and taken his tower but we can still do it now to get damage and we do have poison in hand for his night witch so let's see what he does he's forced to play a night witch i think but even so it doesn't it's fine i'm just gonna play skeleton king and my tombstone and we're gonna get a good defense again right here i'm gonna play ice wizard against the wall so i don't give him that lightning value to hit my tombstone and to hit my um ice wizard so he nadoed that i'm just gonna end up activating my ability play a bar barrel just to make sure 100 percent that the night witch dies and yeah just like that another clean defense of golem golem is a really easy matchup right now i'm just going to play an ice wizard at the bridge and uh, a graveyard and i'm just going to play a barbarian barrel and we're just going to see what it does so he played a lightning that's fine but i'm hoping that the tower tracks to the okay it doesn't even have to ggs well played to ghost the uh, splash right against golem is a really nice matchup just make sure you spread your tombstone you spread your baby dragon and ice wizards against the wall and yeah clean also another tip is that when the golem pops against the tombstone and kills off the tombstone you can immediately play a nato to the king tower and the golem will end up going to the king tower unfortunately i couldn't get it at that moment because it popped and i played it a little bit too late but that's another way to get king tower against golem right now we're playing into the next game we're playing against what is this chinese playing against some no we can't be chinese chinese people are banned from our servers but maybe i don't know but we're playing against this guy and with the ice golem and battle ram we already know it's gonna be bridge spam now the question is does he play his nato i mean not his nato his magic archer he doesn't so that's fine with me because a lot of players would do that to end up sniping the tower but after seeing um after seeing Ice Golem and Battle Ram, along with the Hunter, I think I'm convinced that it's actually Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers is quite a hard matchup, so let's see how this goes. And right here, oh, this is a little bit bad because I think he has his ability back. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm going to take a lot of damage, but if I played my bar battle one second later, I would have had a clean defense, but bad timing and it resulted in me taking a lot of damage so just gonna play ice wizard baby dragon at the back waiting to see whether he has pump or not but if not pump he's just gonna continuously um oh i missed uh we, we missed the uh, one uh, musketeer but it's fine i'm just gonna end up bar battle playing a bar battle onto this we're gonna play an ice wizard i'm really hoping it doesn't connect please don't connect how does another mask go there? Did he not kill off the ma I'm so confused, guys. Did he play another mask? I'm pretty sure we played a tombstone to kill off that mask, unless we mistimed it, which is also highly possible. But we're gonna play a skeleton king like this. 
this is going to splash both the, the golden knight and the bandit but unfortunately the bandit is completely broken but i don't mind because both my towers are nearly the same hp so we're just going to set up defense again and let's see where he plays these three musketeers okay so we're just going to poison this now oh, this makes it really hard because now i can't poison his uh three musketeers and his palm still gets a positive elixir trade so i'm just gonna play skeleton king at the back try and get a good ability onto all of his troops and let's see what he plays i'm pretty sure he's gonna go opposite lane pressure so we're just gonna play our ability and we're gonna see what he does and play a good bar battle to distract the battle ram another battle ram the golden knight and yeah yeah this is we may have taken some damage but it's okay i'm actually still have to play a skeleton king because that musketeer is really healthy it's just this matchup is just not looking good i need to wait for the right moment to pull off the graveyard and right here i'm just going to end up playing bar battle for the bandit and we're going to play an ice wizard at the back for that and we're gonna play a poison onto all of that even though i don't want to but we're gonna play this and we're gonna play a bar battle this time because we learned our mistake unless unless the bandit is broken but now also we realize he doesn't have any spell for our towers so at any particular moment we can actually punish him with the graveyard and get a lot of damage and we'll end up winning because he does not have a big spell so right here i'm just gonna bar battle here and i'm gonna skeleton king his battle ram and we're gonna get a lot of um defensive damage which is really good for us and we just have to gain tombstone which i don't really want to i'm just hoping this thing dies but right here we're just gonna play a baby dragon at the bridge with a poison with a um, graveyard and a poison onto the hunter and the musketeer and now we just really hope that it does enough damage and which it nearly does and we might be back into the game and just like this clean solid defense so right now we're going to do another push because i think he's going to go three musketeers and which he does and now we're going to pull this musketeer back to buy us more time to defend and we're going to play this we're going to play that and right now we just have to defend just 20 seconds of clean defense he's forced to play a high uh three musketeers so we're just going to poison we're just going to baby dragon we're just going to bar barrel I'm just hoping the battle ramp connects. Nice. And guys, as I said before, you can beat any deck with the Splashyard deck. Three Musketeers is a really hard matchup to beat Bridge Spam in general because all they do is bait out the poison, stack palms. If I poison the palm, they're just gonna three Musketeers. They're just gonna continuously spam opposite lane. And just like that, we have beat a hard counter and because this deck is so nice i'm gonna play one more game <laughs> to show you guys and to give you guys a lot of tips a lot of gameplay to show you all my starting hands and stuff like that and mid ladder it's, to be honest it's really easy to get starting handed whereas higher ladder players are more conservative they're more passive they like to see what you're playing yeah in mid ladder nobody cares what you're playing these guys are straight out just gonna spam at the bridge so right now we see that he has goblin gang so we're just gonna end up playing a tombstone at the back so guys if you play against minor or goblin gang you always want to play your tombstones like that it also helps out um, defensively because it's really easy for them to outcycle your uh barbarian battle so with valkyrie it looks like it's classic bridge spam with uh rocket if he had knight and after seeing electro spirit and skeletons we can completely be convinced it is that so right here we're just gonna play a poison this i feel like it's a decent matchup it's depending how the player plays it depending how both players plays it if a splash guy is passive waits for the right moment to attack 
it's really easy to win. But he has skeletons, so this matchup becomes really easy. Whereas if he had guards, it would have made this matchup a lot harder to win. So if they had guards, then most of the times you want to attack. When his guards are out of hand, more like spam at the bridge. And now that he has skeletons, I'm free to attack whenever I want to attack. But preferably against this, you want to be waiting until double elixir to be attacking. So right here we see that he uses his Valkyrie that lane. So we're just going to go Skeleton King at the bridge. Let's see if he has Inferno Tower. No, he does not even play Inferno Tower. Uh, and of course he goes to the Valkyrie. Of course. Why? Why am I even surprised so we're gonna try and get a perfect time tornado uh maybe a little second late but i didn't have enough elixir but you can get a perfectly timed tornado to fully bring all three goblins to your king tower or to the side but now now that we're in two times we'll see when to attack and how to attack so right now he cycles his uh valkyrie at the back so i'm just gonna play skeleton king on the opposite lane to build up those skeletons into its armor tree and we're gonna actually activate ability now oh i thought he had inferno tower so smart players would end up inferno towering high and ends up killing everything but he has tesla so now that i know he has tesla it becomes an even more easier matchup so just like that they don't have to play graveyard our damage is nearly the same and this is all that you want to do Continuous poison cycle. So right here we're just gonna play um, uh, Ice was at the back and Nearly miss that one goblin, but with the tombstone lifesaver Got a lot of value from it. So yeah, we can play another tombstone. Let's see what he does So we're just gonna nato all of this to the skeletons gonna get in another poison for it and we're going to baby dragon this. I'm not going to activate ability because it's going to be a waste. He has Valkyrie down. He's going to end up killing everything. Get a positive elixir trade. And yeah. So right now I'm just going to play Ice Wizard onto the right. Going to play my battle. And yeah. He's just giving me more poison value. And we going to end up playing a baby dragon. Because we know he's going to play another battle. And Oh, the, it actually got a hit. I'm quite surprised. But right now, this is the perfect time to go graveyard because he's low. And I would honestly like to see what he does to defend. So, oh, that's a bad battle. I still can't read battles, apparently. And I wouldn't activate ability. The Valkyrie died. So, activating ability at that spot is good because I'm going to end up still getting chirp. He's going to start... Um, rocket cycling soon so i'm going to try and get early poisons down as quickly as i can that's a back barrel too so yeah he thought he could catch me out but no bro i'm way more clever than that i'm lagging no that's not what we like to see so we're just going to activate ability this time just to kill off this valkyrie a little bit more quicker get a nice baby dragon get a tombstone at the back with this 400 slash yeah 400 lead we're confident enough to win this game and this is another side battle oh okay we're just gonna go another naked graveyard because he's going to go in with another rocket and i think rocket does it i am not sure very close just like that we beat rocket cycle in three times it gets very close because they can easily cycle to rockets and uh, that can you see how clutch that one cycle of poison d came to like that that's uh cycling of the poison actually won me the game i was not sure if i was gonna win that game that was very close but irrespective for good games good ways to show you how to be the most popular decks on ladder especially mid ladder and yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's tips let me know in the comment section how much you enjoyed this video and peace out guys enjoy your day